at 2.46 p.m., exactly 10 years after the quake, tsunami and nuclear disaster struck northern Japan, the whole country came to a standstill. At the heart of the tragedy, on the beaches of Fukushima, victims' relatives prayed for their loved ones, swept away into the sea on that day of 2011. The devastating magnitude 9 quake, one of the biggest on record, had triggered a historic tsunami that sent water far into the land, destroying towns and infrastructure. More than 18,000 people were killed. The waves caused meltdowns in the Fukushima Daiichi power plant, causing the worst nuclear catastrophe since Chernobyl. In Tokyo, the government and emperor paid tribute to the dead facing the memorial. My heart aches when I turn my thoughts to those who have struggled with various hardships, with drastic changes of their living conditions, including those who have lost close ones such as family members or friends, and those who have lost their homes or jobs and been separated from the people of their communities. Since the tragedy, Japan has pushed hard to rebuild the devastated regions, which half a million residents have had to flee. The pain is still very much alive, and people keep searching for their relatives' remains a decade on.